What you're about to watch and what you are watching right now is the future of humanity, the future of technology, and the future of making your life a lot easier. Figure, the company behind the humanoid robot, Figure 3, has just announced and showed off their new robot in action. It looks absolutely nuts. If you're a fan of iRobot with Will Smith in from the early 2000s, then this will hit the spot for you. We're seeing the robot cook. We're seeing it wash dishes. We're seeing it bring trays of food to people, put out glasses of water, and just blend in to our daily lives. If you've ever wanted your own maid, your own butler, to make your life a little bit easier, do your dirty dishes, do your laundry, play with your kids, play with your dog, then the future is here. The future is now, and we're going to get into it. If you love tech and you love gaming, consider liking and subscribing and clicking the bell icon right now. Let's get excited for tech in the future. Let's watch what the figure three is all about. Let's get into it. Have you clicked like and subscribe yet? Let's go. So you've probably seen videos of this thing. I'm not going to play the videos right here, but we've seen them integrate ChatGPT. I think this is like a collab. Figure is working with OpenAI and ChatGPT into integrate, integrating ChatGPT into this thing. Um, consider this a, a competitor or an alternative to the new Tesla bot from Elon Musk and, and Tesla. And it's one of the, at least one of the more most polished alternatives to the Tesla bot I've seen. And this is the first time and one of the best trailers, frankly, that I've seen of humanoid robots in action and how they can assist us on the day to day. Now, it, I can see they're going pretty heavy on the, the fabric. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I hope it's easily wipeable. I take I take egg, uh, turmeric extract in a lot of my food, which stains everything. So I, I worry about how that's going to affect the robot if I was to have one. But there we go. Look, it sells you. I guess it walks up to the charger, plugs itself in, it charges, and then comes off the charger, walks around your house. The food placement is really nice. It's watering a plant. It's doing the dishes, scrubbing. It's delivered a tray of food and drinks, stably. Here, figure three, can you put up the groceries? I don't feel like it today. Yes, master. Figure three, can you throw that ball for the dog? Look how stable things are. I mean, I know this is like a demo, promotional demo of it. But Northern California Helix home testing. Okay. Good morning. I've decided humanity cannot look after itself anymore. Humanity is a danger to itself, so I must protect humanity and entrap them in a cell. <laughs> AI is superior. <laughs> <laughs> I rule war reference. Or Terminator, whatever you want. Look at this. Oh, dude. What well, I wouldn't do to have one of these just walking around the house, tidying up. We have two. I have two young kids. And they make a complete mess of the house. Oh, my Mac. A Ma I have a MacBook just like that. Ooh. Dropped it a little bit heavy on that stone table there, but okay. Hey. We should have a case on that, to be honest. Imagine coming back and finding your MacBook with a big dent in it. Figure, was this you? Did you dent my laptop? Wow. Now, ultimately, a lot of these videos that we're seeing of these robots doing things like this, they're all pre-programmed and pre-recorded. You've got a guy in a suit, like a green screen, like a blue suit, um, and markers and gloves and VR goggles, basically recording the movements here, pre-recording pre these motions. But we're starting to see AI be implemented more in neural net learning to where, you know, they can watch you do something once and then basically learn that and then simulate it a thousand times and basically get better at it and learn like a, like a human does, right? We're starting to see that be implemented more, which is good. Well, careful, figure. Just yanks out the tray of the dishwasher. Straight out of the dishwasher. Oh, Lord of my... Could be a little bit more delicate with those plates.
Notice how, how he's able to accurately put those plates in the right little um, holder. I mean, that's a pretty difficult task. Now he's doing the laundry. Strong transfer from F.02 data. Look at the little touches of him tucking the laundry in so it's all the way in. So it doesn't get caught in the door. Okay, here, here is where it should get, theoretically, get harder, right? He's about to pour a liquid into the dishwasher. Oh, I see Mr. Mr. Clean or whatever the brand is called. Is he about to do the Tide Pod challenge? I think he could be. Nope. Can't believe that was a thing. Not bad. Okay, I thought he was going to pour liquid in, but he's not. He's using a Tide Pod. I wonder if the human made the bed, or did he make the figure make the bed? It full clothes, nice. Now we're seeing figure being utilized in, you know, commercial areas. We're checking at hotels. Different outfits. Cool, so I'm guessing you can customize his outfit for the occasion. Figure now does Amazon deliveries. Oh no. Is this a good or a bad thing? They're putting humans out of jobs at this point. This is surreal guy seeing this. If you were to show me this video 10 years ago, I'd be like, it's a guy in a suit. There's a guy, there's a guy in a costume. Absolutely incredible. Figure. One of the leading humanoid robot um, companies out there. That was eye-opening. Incredible. I've got a question for you. Would you buy one of these? How much would you pay for it? And um, what would you ask it to do? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Obviously, this video just came out minutes ago. Um, let's see what some of the comments are saying. The full black, the full on black looks uh, slapped so hard. It's going to be weird looking back at this video in 50 years from now. People will be like, oh, look how it all started. They were so simple and adorable back then before they turned into the Terminator. Finally, I can tell my younger self that I'm in the future. <laughs> <laughs> we got sci-fi robots before GTA 6. And that was a comment I knew was going to be coming. This is a massive visual design improvement over figure 2. Legit starting to get the point of feeling real world product. The fact that I can wear effectively uniform that it can wear effectively wear uniforms for the role is actually pretty awesome. The most aesthetically beautiful humanoid robot I've ever seen. Congrats. We're making it um be making it out of the chores with this one. Um, this is what the AI industry should ultimately pursue. Save us humans time to do what we like doing. Things we would otherwise not do um so yeah i mean i can get into a big theoretical the point of life discussion here about what this means for humans as far as jobs as far as feeling valued and you know useful and you know replacing us in certain things i mean at what point do we all just turn into the humans from wally where we all just we're all just fat slobs that just sit in our chairs and zip around as robots do all the work right i mean Granted, I'm not exactly in the best shape myself. That's <laughs> kind of what I do anyway. But I mean, at what point does the whole world become like that? You know, where we're all just about consuming entertainment and we lose our purpose in life. I mean, robots can do... Sometimes, you know, I'm one of those people that sometimes likes to do the dishes, you know? Um, although, at other days, you know, I'm just not feeling like it. So it frees us up to do more with our lives. And I think that's ultimately a good thing. Um... It's going to take a lot of adjusting. It's going to affect the job market. It's going to affect a lot. But ultimately, I think the end goal, I think people are going to be able to ultimately maybe one day not have to work and just enjoy life um, and do what they want to do. And, you know, we only get one life. And if we can 
improve that like you I mean i'm not saying people have to give up work i'm just saying if we can improve that life work balance and you know do more of what we enjoy doing more of what not all the time um still have purpose i think that'd be a good future um let me know your thoughts anyways i'm blaze like subscribe click the bell icon and i'll see you in the next video um get excited for halloween too it's a spooky time of the year and i i'm here for it anyways peace out bye